Hi everybody, we're starting this one off hot. We, uh, we've got a little bit of a, I guess a guide. I'm, I really haven't done a lot of these. So we are going after the ice rind hatchet, which I do believe y'all seen in a couple other videos, but it's a good way to try out a new style of weapon and then see if you like hatchets or axes, you know, the, uh, it has a uh, frost stomp on it as its regular uh, Ash of War. So we're gonna fight through these stinking flowers. That was a magic one. So. All right. We're gonna go over here and probably fight these dudes so we can get it without having to really run around and try too hard and worry about somebody and sneaking up on us. So, if you are new to the channel, I am Sinister762. Thanks for uh, popping in and checking this out. If you are still following me in this, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing stuff like this because I'm pretty sure all the information is out there. I'm just kind of testing the waters on some of this stuff because I keep, you know, trying to find random obscure things. But I think there's several channers, channels, channers, <laughs> channels that have already found them. Get it. All right. Now we aggroed. How many do? Ah! All right. All right. Bip, 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 bip. I can't do car wheels. I want to do car wheels. That would be fun. So, kind of a quick and dirty little episode. That hurt a big pile of whatever weird silvery goo you're made out of. I want to do a cartwheel with a sword. Stupid flowers. Ah, poison. Nope, more poison. I just got chunked with poison. But the, uh,. I think the armor helps with that on this. It doesn't suck as bad because of this armor for some reason. It has a, not an affinity, but it has a, uh, a resistance to it, if I'm not mistaken. It's supposed to be one of the ones you can go ahead and uh, go through some of the poison bogs and it'll keep you alive after you hit 20% of your health bar, I do believe. But the hatchet itself is a very easy weapon to go ahead and get started with. Its physical attack baseline is 111. And let's see. Yeah. Horfrost Stomp is the ash of war that comes stock on this thing takes 10 fp to use it and we have 11 strength and 16 decks to use it so very early game so you can test out and see if you want to try some other stuff it's uh it's pretty cool i used it to try to fight the black knife and it is and it is located as you just saw in the temple quarters in uh, Lernia Lakes there's a couple of uh, sites of grace pretty close but two handing axes you know hatchets axes whatever it's kind of fun I have enough strength by now to go ahead and be able to do this there's the frost stomp it does a little bit more damage at the uh, when it goes off and if it hits. But if they're floaty and anything like that, they can go over the top of it. So, go ahead and if you want to come get this, or if you haven't got this, if you're new to the game, kind of a fun weapon to start out with. And thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to be awesome. Bye, everybody.